Yeah, good morning. FNL Newsar moves to the Netherlands. And it's a logical place to, to go to because astrophysics is the dominant feature to be discussed today. We have uh, uh, Cornelis Dirk Andries, who is a astrophysicist. His physics is his life. He's invented various formula, of which we'll come to. And naturally, FNL should be joined by another physician, Andreas Georg, who is one of who is one of the top procurement people for Mars. One of the things that uh, 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 Cornelius Dirk is famous for is this formula. Why are you so famous for this formula? The formula, uh, it's uh, the justification of my existence. Of First of all, it is okay. the best right. thing I found. It gives a, a prescription of the amount of mass, mass again, mass, right. matter, yes. leaving the stars. Not right. only so the well, sun, talk, but talk all us the, the formula. Tell yeah. us what it means. So m dot is yeah. the, the change in time right. of the mass of the sun. Right. Because something is leaving the sun. Right. Yeah. And it's ex expressed in uh, as a function of the luminosity, L, expressed in what? Right. R over M. R is the radius, right. the size of right. the of the sun, right. divided by the mass of the sun right. to a certain ridiculous power, nine over four. Right. And the whole has been uh, has to be divided by G, right. the universal gravitational Gravity. constant. Right. It's a constant. Why is this so important? Can you explain? First of all, the phenomenon that all stars are losing their gas. All the time they are spending uh, matter in the size of uh, electrons and protons mostly. Right. But in general, and by, by some fluctuation phenomenon, it's uh, possible part of it can escape and is producing uh, the solar wind, right. which uh, reaches also the Earth. And Many of the energies that we use on Earth depend on solar energy, whether this is wind, whether this comes from waves, whether this is photovoltaic, whether this is growing plants and getting energy out of plants. So from your reflections on the mass loss of the sun, what is the future? Do we need to be concerned? The scale in which it will change is in billions of years. Right. So in fact, we, we need not consider that as a daily problem for us. We have a very quiet, rather small star to bother about things that has to do with our lives, which is measured in a hundred years and generations and tens of thousands of years. But that's nothing in comparison with the history of the universe. Yeah. So the cycles that we know from the sun uh, do not necessarily have an impact on our use of energy in the next decades no, or no. centuries. No, no, that's my, my view of it. <laughs>